What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Tiffany Outdoors. Today we're going to be making a shower with a pump sprayer. Stay tuned. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany Outdoors, there was Tiffany the Farmer. On the U-turn when possible. No, we're not. I want to make this wet shower is because there was an incident one time Joe and I went to the Lumber River State Park to camp and when I made the reservations I didn't realize they did not have showers and it was in let's see it was summertime it was like early summer and um, they had water and they had bathrooms but they did not have showers so we ended up having to use our five gallon water container as a way to wash ourselves so i think whenever i do go camping if there is like a primitive spot where there is no shower boom i could take this with me fill it up put it out in the sun let the sun heat the water and boom i've got a wet shower so <laughs> let me tell you I, I did get the parts. Finding this thing right here was not easy. Let me first start off by thanking Adventure Van Man for this build because he's the one that I am using to make this build. So he gives specific part numbers and things and this one right here, this thing right here was difficult to find. They do have it at Home Depot, so go to Home Depot, not the other blue store. And I'm going to give you the the um, the item number, just like he did. So let me bring you guys in close, and let's start this build. Okay, part number one. This thing right here, this adapter that was really hard to find. There's your there's your item number LFA-192, and it's it looks just like this. And also at Home Depot, I got the Universal Kitchen Sink Spray, this little doodad here. And it did not come with the accessory kit, so I had to buy the hose separately. Um, got the hose. Has all these doodads in there. I don't know. Hopefully, this will be easy to put together. We shall see. Let's get started. I also got the two gallon HDX multi-purpose sprayer. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open all this stuff up, get it opened, assembled. unit was audited by Penny. Thank you, Penny. <laughs> First thing I want to start with is assembling this. So I have my the tube and the, the uh, sprayer. This is the sprayer that comes with it. We're going to be taking that off, but the opposite end has the tube, and that's going to go in this small hole here. me it should screw on this is giving me so much resistance that it just doesn't feel like it's going on right it'd be just me I know what it is <laughs> my hands are sore y'all I um there we go it's, it's my hands. My hands are really sore. It's not Penny's fault. She said this was a quality product. We're going to believe her. But anyway, 
my hands are sore that's all all right so now I'm gonna unscrew this part here and we're not gonna use this let's see if I can take this off without destroying it hey there we go you'd be left with just this end with nothing on it and that's where this is gonna come in but before we do that I'm going to set this to the side set that to the side and assemble this sprayer here this end is going to go to our tank itself and this end with the plastic this is the end that this is going to go to so let's see what i need to do here all right y'all don't let all of these parts confuse you like it did me okay so okay the sprayer it comes with these two parts we're not going to use this you're going to unscrew this and inside this sprayer is a little clip see that clip Okay, we're going to take the plastic end of this and that part we unscrewed off of the pump sprayer, you're going to push that inside with the, the, uh, what's this, the male, the male side facing up and this goes from underneath. You hear that pop? Let's see. That little rubber o-ring is going to hold that in place so i'm just going to take that and push that in there that in tighten that up now i'm only hand tightening and y'all my hands are really really sore so i did a whole lot of bow sawing <laughs> yesterday at my dad's but anyway got that end done perfect you have this end this is where we're going to take that brass adapter and we're going to put, screw it in, put that in there. And you guys, if this thing leaks, you can use that um, tape, the little plumber's tape. I'm just going to use these wrenches to tighten this up because, again, my hands are so sore that I can't hardly do anything with them. Okay, done. Okay, and then... I'm going to take the barb in and push it in here. And if if you can't get this on, which I can push it on even with my sore hands. <sighs> twist it, push, twist, push, twist, and push until it bottoms out. Boom, got it. And... I believe we're done that was easy that was quick and if there's any leaks or anything in here I have I've got some o-rings that I can use and all this other all this other stuff y'all all this stuff we don't need any of this just set that to the side save those things save your o-rings get a couple o-rings that this uh, kit comes with Make sure you save those also. Got two O-rings there. Save those. Alright, I'm going to put some water. I'm going to go put some water in this thing, pressurize it, and test it out. Alright y'all, moment of truth. Got a little bit of water in here. Let me go ahead and pressurize this. Most of these have like a lock. Yes. All right, let's see what happens. Uh-oh, I already got some dripping. There's dripping here. Hey! It's working, but it's also dripping here. I'm losing a lot of water. No dripping. Press the nozzle. It's dripping right, 
right in here all right so I know that it's got a little drip there y'all see it dripping it's dripping there I'm gonna release I'm gonna release the pressure So, I want to take this back apart. Let's see. Uh -oh. I'm going to put this one on first, the flat one on first. Put the flat one on first. See if that helps. Push him down. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this little Allen wrench, push it down here, and then that'll give me a little bit of space to maneuver this thing down with. Push it down, push it down. There we go. Whew, there we go. Got that little rubber seal on. Just pushed this, twisted on, and now I have zero leaks here at the spout. That comes out great. Now I need to check this. I think I have a leak here at this connection, which that can be solved with some plumber's tape. So I'll take that back apart and put some plumber's tape on that, and that'll fix that. So this was a very quick and easy build once I figured out all of the parts that I needed and did not need. There were a lot of parts in there that I did not need, so I am going to hang on to all of those parts. I might need them on a future project. Who knows? Or it could come in handy fixing or repairing this thing. But anyway, that was simple, guys. Not too bad. Not too hard. I figured out all the hard part. Now it's time for you to go out and get your parts and build one too. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.